Hello everyone, my name is Master Starman and welcome back for more Let's Play Ratchet and Clank. Last time, we started up here on this one really annoying planet and we still need to go through this one really, really annoying planet. With virtually no ammo. I really appreciate that, but don't mind that thing giving me devastator ammo, I can live with that. So... Yeah, in this episode, we're going to be continuing on through this planet and doing some more of the re really annoying things on this planet, actually. I was really hoping this force field would still stay intact. I guess I can... I think there might, there's still force fields to the right of this place as well. We upgraded our health last time, which is a massive, massive addition. If you notice, we have 5 HP now. Something I've been waiting for for a long time. I'm getting a lot of Devastator ammo, which I guess is nice. I can live with the Devastator. For this part, I'm honestly just going to freaking run. I don't care about what any of these enemies have to offer. And for some unorthodox reason, the Infobot is just sort of... We're just sort of playing follow the Infobot right now, which I don't really understand all that much, but... Whatever. Yeah, I had to do this part of the game so many freaking times that I just grew really sick of it. Go away from me, birds! And I'm just gonna fall, because that would probably be quicker. Yeah, okay, right here. This part would be a very definite point to use this. Take out the taunter, and... Yep, there's a skill point, and very helpful skill point at that. For doing all of that. You can do that at any other point in the level too, but I just figured it was... I did not want to get hit by that thing, God damn it! I just figured it was probably easier to do it at this point here. That part kind of worried me a little bit, because I thought I was going You guys can go away. <sighs> okay, you guys go away. You can all go away. Shoot, that was stupid. Um... What do I have that is good against these guys? Not the Pyrocitor. I have some Glove of Doom ammo, might as well use up. Go away. Did they attack the bird thing too, or? Oh, I guess. Ah, oh, shoot, another one. Glove of Doom, go. There we go. See, not so bad when you think about it, really, but. If only due to how damn long this thing is. I think there might be a checkpoint here, actually, which would be nice if there were. Go away. Go away from me. There we go. Not sure what was with that shadow there, but... Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Go away. See, you just don't have any way of freaking running away from them things. And that's the thing I hate is basically you try and go in for a physical attack and you take unavoidable damage. And screw this part of the game. So, how did I wake most of those guys up? I'm going for Devastator again. I'm holding off on using the Visbomb gun because it's actually needed for a gold, a rather tricky gold bolt in this planet. So. I'd rather conserve my ammo as much as possible for that. Okay, I have some bomb glove ammo. That was cheap as shit, game. That was friggin' friggin' cheap as anything. I got some great bargains for you today. I'm speechless at what just happened. That was absolute and utter bull sh bull freaking shit. Oh, 
Okay, well, it seems like these guys are oblivious to me being here on a normal circumstance, so if there's no flying enemies around, I'm just going to probably run past as many of these things as I can and take on unbelievably stupid damage because I'm just running into fire. God damn it, 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 god damn it. Nope, 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 nope. Get the hell out of here. Nope. Pink Floyd was never more right. Run like hell. Oh my god, that was. That was friggin' ridiculous. I am surprised I made it out of that. Hello again, everyone. Supreme Executive Chairman Drek here to fill you in on our progress. We have now found the perfect orbit for our planet. One which will allow for the optimum temperature all year round. However, there is a planet now occupying that orbit, and sadly, for its few insignificant inhabitants, it must be destroyed. And that's why we've created this! The Planet Buster Maximus, a device capable of blowing an entire planet into subatomic particles. We're quite proud of it. Here's how it works. We attach the Planet Buster to this ship, fly it into orbit around the planet, and let it go! Kaboom! <laughs> quite ingenious, really. Once our trained professionals put the finishing touches on our new planet, everything will be complete. Thank you. Goodbye. Now this guy's gonna blow up an entire planet? That's just... me! That's what I've been telling you. Look, I'm still gunning for Quark. If we end up taking out Drek too, hey, fine. What? You do care. Don't push it, pal. <laughs> yep, now that other gate's gone as well. And look where we lead off, right over here, which, uh... Yeah, has a lot of freaking enemies again. Fortunately, it doesn't seem like a whole lot of the big ones. Health, I've never been so happy to see health in my entire life. <coughs> Which, of course, I immediately wasted trying to kill simple enemies. Oh, man. <coughs> yeah, the tension between Wretch and Clank seems to be lightening up a little bit, which is something I really like. The the tension between the two of them is there, but it it does kind of die down a little bit. Anyways, right here, we have some stuff we need to do with the Vizbomb gun, which I admit is annoying to freaking use, especially when you hit it on stuff that doesn't really even seem to be in the, there in the first place. And can I even aim this stupid thing correctly? Because the answer to that's probably a big no. Oh, okay, that there is now open. You gotta fly this thing through this cave several times, and it gets pretty bad by the end of it, so I'm gonna be a little bit quiet during this part. Oh god, this thing is gonna be bad. Wow, this is annoying. What the heck? I've done this part of the game before, but still. How in the world am I... Yeah, and that part still keeps going on. I may need to go back and get ammo for this thing. <gasps> Is that... There's another freaking one there, too? Oh, my God. Yeah. 
Yes. Okay, then. Now, where the hell that is? That's another different story entirely, but I have an idea. Huh. I do want to mention, though, that as Ratchet, there is, I believe, a gold bolt somewhere in one of these rooms. I think it's this one here, actually, that there is a gold bolt in. So... There are some of these enemies here. Okay, over here, yes. Right here, there's a spot to actually wall jump. And there is a gold bolt at the very top of it. Very nice indeed. Lastly, let's go find that one other gold bolt that we opened up, and then we'll end the episode off. And also probably this session as well. Okay, the very fortunate, two very fortunate things is that... A, it seems that there's a few less enemies than before, and B, you only really need to go up to this point here, I believe. I believe so. Yeah. Straight ahead from here, that one cave is now opened up. And this part also kind of sucks. There's not really any enemies to worry about, but the platforming here is a little bit awkward and dying here really does suck, because then it's... <sighs> yeah. Just blowing up some of these for the fun of it. Oh crap, okay, I'm down to 1 HP, that's always what I wanted. This place is kind of big for what it is, so... Right, once we're finally through here... Oh my god, I'm so thankful to see this gold bolt, because I do not like this planet one bit, and I'm so thankful it's done. <sighs> there we go, that's all the gold bolts and skill points on this planet. Now then, next time... Next time, I think I'm going to do some off-camera bolt grinding, get the decoy glove, and then I think I'm going to show off a little well-known glitch how to get some extra bolts. Because, honestly, I would like to get some the extra health upgrade and some other things. I honestly don't want to get the Rhino 2, though, because that is a mid- or Rhino 1, I should say, because that thing is really overpowered, and I don't- really want to make I kind of want to have a little bit of challenge on me but just to save the inconvenience of grinding I'm just going to get a lot of bolts and get the decoy gloves before that we start off the plane Helven. so yeah Eat. I'm actually surprised that hit. But for hitting those, th for hitting one of those ships, you do need to get a skill point. Captain Quark's 
robot thing, you pissed me off for a long time. Go away. Alrighty then, one last thing. We're as we see, we're swimming back here in Black in Blackwater City here. We can now fully explore this area now that we don't have to worry about the water drowning us now. So, as you see, there's an entire separate tunnel down here as well that we never really got a chance to explore. Which is causing the, a lot of weird light filters. Like, I'm not really sure what's about that, but... So head all the way up here. Check out what we got. I gotta say, though, it's... It really is just eerie being like down here especially earlier on in the game because like granted we were the only minus those stupid slime things like we were the only ones really in this like wreck like drowning thing but i could imagine other games just going through something similar to this but like if a lot more casualties were at stake or whatever and revisiting this kind of a level like this when you have can fully explore freely without the need of drowning or whatever, then it just kind of has this eerie feeling to it that I, I don't really know how to describe it, but it's yeah I do, I do really like exploring this place though, now that we don't have to worry about air or anything of the sort whatsoever running away from the water or anything and I'm glad they actually hid something here that would have been impossible to get um, otherwise and I think we are yep pretty much done that would probably be a relief for anyone. And by the way, if you're wondering why Ratchet still has the O2 mask on, it's because you can go in the gadgets menu and equip, equip it a few so shoes, which I just have it on for aesthetics and whatnot. What am I trying to find here? Yeah, and as you can see, you can equip other things like the Sonic Summoner, the Pilot's Helmet, which doesn't really have much of a use, but and you can also change back to the Hellish Hack if you just so desire.